G'day everyone. For a long time, we've had some facilities in the Oracle database to allow a read-only database facility for users. That might be something like Active Data Guard, which lets people use read-only facilities against their database in a standby mode, or you can just open a database read-only. If I do that, then letting people connect and run queries and not be able to do anything else that might damage the data is a requirement that you've now satisfied. But what if you want something a little bit more subtle? What if you want the users in that database to be read-only, but as a DBA or someone that owns the entire container with all the pluggable databases, still has access to do facilities against that database that might actually change data? For example, maintenance operations, etc. Well, in Oracle Database 23 AI, we can now do that. Let's do a little demo here. So I'll connect as sysdba, and just to prove that this is controlling access from the container level, not just within the pluggable, I'll create a user called local DBA, identified by local DBA. So this DBA, I've just granted the DBA to it, is a full DBA user inside a pluggable database. Now I'm gonna close that pluggable database. So I'll close it down, but now this is the new facility in Oracle Database 23 AI. I can now open that database, that pluggable, in what we call hybrid read-only mode. Now, what do we mean by hybrid read-only? Well, as you'd expect, if I connect as just a normal user, I'll connect to Scott here, and I try to do anything which might change data, I'm immediately blocked. So from the perspective of just your typical end user, it is a read-only database just like we've seen before. However, if I connect as the local DBA, someone with a lot more power on this database, and they try to do a maintenance operation, they also are blocked. So even a DBA inside that pluggable database, because it's hybrid read-only, is not allowed to change any data. So, so far, it looks like this database looks like just any other read-only database. So what's the special treat here when it comes to a hybrid read-only? But now I'll connect as a common user DBA, a DBA that is defined in the container database that has a common user flowing through down to all the pluggables. In this case, I'll connect as system. Notice now that when I do a delete statement, I'm allowed to do it. Thus, if I'm a DBA at the container level or a privileged user at the container level, then I do get the ability to do data maintenance operations in the pluggable. The pluggable itself and anything self-contained within the pluggable is read only. And that way I have that extra granularity in terms of controlling what data maintenance operations are available. When it comes to taking that pluggable database out of hybrid read only mode, I connect as a sysdba at the container level and I can run alter pluggable database. However, if I just try to go from hybrid read only to read write, you'll get the following error. Now the reason for that is we've got potentially existing sessions floating around in that database. We need to make sure that those sessions got kicked out so they could then be reinstated with their full read write privileges. So the first thing we need to do is actually close the pluggable database. We can use close immediate to kick everyone off. Once we've done that, then we can open the database back in its normal read-write mode. So hybrid read-only is a nice halfway house between read-write for privileged users and read-only for everyone else. It's coming in Oracle Database 23 AI. Enjoy.